to match up on with anybody. Look, I think their form is, is as good, if not better, than anyone in the competition at the moment. I ran into Jeff Geesham and Rossi Lyon, actually, before the game, their seconds play. And I said to Geese, I said, your form's not that bad. And we played them the yeah. week before um, and, uh, and got beaten by 30 points. So it probably indicates we're not playing too bad as well. But they are as hot as any team going around. And when you've got Gary Lyon as now your third or fourth forward, mm. who's still super dangerous and can kick your goals, it's just an amazing setup they've got, and they're going to be very, very difficult to beat. They haven't been beaten this year when Neitz, Schwartz, Lyon and Farmer have all played. They've only played in six matches, and four of them were Brisbane twice and Carlton twice, but another one was North Melbourne and another one was yesterday. And Farmer yesterday, Blighty played a trump on him in McLeod. It didn't work. Uh, McLeod had a couple of fumbles early, and Farmer really stung them, didn't he? Yeah, look, I saw this game and, and watched it with great interest, obviously. And one of the problems, I guess, without second-guessing Blight, he's a fantastic coach, is when you take a, a great player like McLeod and try and turn him into a negative player, it's very, very difficult. It's a, it's a complete change in philosophy for him just to purely watch a man, and it is very difficult, and it also detracts a little bit from your midfield. So maybe in hindsight, although Farmer's in terrific form and, and you obviously have to play someone on him, maybe in hindsight it would have been better to play someone else mm. on him and let a McLeod... You know, become a, a dominating force in the midfield, but uh, you know we're all pretty wise. Yeah. In, uh, McLeod played on him in Adelaide early in the year and, and destroyed him, and I think yeah. that had a whole lot to do with it. You've probably got Adelaide next week. That's the way it looks if the favourites win today. The Crows were pretty flat yesterday. They're going to come back hard, aren't they? 